So I'm back with another uh, backgammon board unboxing and review. Um, this is another board from Germany, uh, similar in, in the sense that it's from Germany to the Gammoner board that I recently unboxed. Uh, but this board is different. Uh, this board is from FTH Backgammon. Uh, FTH stands for Fazil and Hanem Terlemez. Uh, they're a, a husband and wife, a two-person team that has been making backgammon boards for about 25 years. And they live in a little town called Middle Michaelstadt, uh, which is between uh, Stuttgart and uh, another German city, I don't recall, in Western Germany. Um, they are known for making boards that are very vibrant in color. Uh, they will probably make any kind of color combination that you want. And their boards are used around the world in a lot of tournaments, uh, particularly in the United States. Um, they have a U.S. distributor, which is GammonStuff.com, uh, but they are also open to receiving requests and commissions from people just you know, wherever you might be. So you're always free to reach out to Fazil or Hanum directly. Um, if you watch any backgammon on YouTube, you most likely have seen these boards uh, because they're used all over the place. A couple that come to mind are, there were two of their boards used in the 2019 Chicago Open. Um, they also had boards used in the 2020 New York Metropolitan Open. Uh, they've had boards in the California Backgammon Championship. They had a really brilliantly colored pink board in the Cherry Blossom Championship, which happens in Washington, D.C. And if you look at their Facebook page, uh, they have a gallery of uh, boards that are just all over the place in terms of colors. So. So I'm gonna unbox this uh, and then play on it like I do usually with my unboxing videos. I'm gonna use my handy dandy X-Acto knife that was given to me by my backgammon friend Mona Maza, who is the founder of the Sacramento Backgammon Club, uh, my home club. And uh, we'll just see how it looks. Um, like I said, this is gonna be a, a, a muted color scheme. I did not go with a vibrant color scheme, like a hot pink or magenta or anything like that. I went with more grays. Uh, because I want to use uh, this board as uh, maybe a, a platform for showing uh, other kinds of checkers, other kinds of uh, people's work. Um, but like the Gammoner board that I unboxed, this will be in a kind of muted color range. The big difference between this board and a Gammoner board is price. Uh, for one thing, this is a fraction of the cost of a Gammoner board. One part of that is because it's coated in vinyl not leather, although leather is an option. This X-Acto knife is so much better than using a kitchen knife than using a fork. This makes it much easier. Thank you, Mona. recently unboxed, very well packaged in bubble wrap. Very well done. Multiple layers. Okay. Very similar in the sense that it's got these stale, uh, stainless steel corners. It's a long board. Wow. I didn't realize this one was long. This is like 23 inches long. Uh, it's got a very solid handle. This sort of angular handle is kind of an FTH uh, signature in my mind. Uh, stainless steel locks. Now, let's see what this looks like on the inside. Wow. One thing I know about uh, these FTH boards is he uses merino wool felt. When I reached out to Fazil, I, I definitely wanted to go with a dark gray heather uh, field, and this is just beautiful. I really like the kind of distinct grays here on the points, and you can see the grain of this merino wool felt. It's very, uh, it's very uh, heather-like looking. Uh, the dice, I think, are in this little bag here. Let's see. 
Oh yeah, I like the color of those dice. Those are standard dice though. I'll probably end up using some precision dice I have. This is the doubling cube that comes with it. It's very light, but uh, you'll see these every time you see an FTH board in play. You'll see that kind of cube. And these are the checkers. Let's check these out. These checkers are made, uh, I know, I believe, uh, in Germany. Uh, Basile and Heinem do not use checkers from, say, China or some factory. They actually, I think, either make them in-house uh, or they you know, use a German producer. And then these horn-colored ones are also very nice. Wow. These fit perfectly. I will take a couple of measurements to see like how uh, thick these are, but these appear to be mm, probably nine millimeters, maybe 10, but I'm thinking maybe nine. I really like the marbling on these. And then this is all coated in the sort of leatherette. Uh, this bar is also coated fully, which is nice, kind of like the gameter. Over here, FTH backgammon serial number 0764, handmade by Fazil Terlemez, Germany with their website address. Well, this is the FTH board uh, set up to play, Dublin Cube here. Um, I really, really like the monochromatic and I really like the black marble checkers, and I really like these horn-colored checkers uh, as well. Um, I think this will actually lend itself to being used with other kinds of checkers, uh, different colored checkers. You could really put like color splashes of checkers on here, uh, maybe a other different kind of cube, but this is really nice, and I really am impressed with the, uh, the merino wool felt, which is gonna just be really soft and smooth you can tell that the checkers just glide on it beautifully, just completely silently as well. So let me roll a few dice and we'll see uh, how it goes. Put some uh, black and white precision dice that I have. Oh, double sixes, gotta roll again. Okay, black has a six five, so that's a run. And I'll play white. These uh, dice cups are lined with the same merino wool as the board, and they have a triplet, which is nice. Uh, double threes for white, that's a good roll. Four two for black. Uh, need to do that. You know, my dice play, uh, checker play, and my uh, cube play. I think it's gotten a little bit better since I did my first couple of videos. 2-1. Uh, Interesting. Let's see. I think what you want to do is probably split because um, there's only eight checkers in the zone, so it's not really a blitz yet. Okay, Black has another running play, so Black's pretty much cleared. Kiara, you want to try a roll? Double fives for white, okay, well, let's see. That, question is, do you run? Uh, I think that you probably wanna go this direction and then maybe bring a couple down, leave one back, I don't know. Let's see what black can do here. Black needs to unstack and can. I think you didn't wanna do this and you definitely wanna take that five point. Well, uh, all I can say to Fazil and Hanim is thank you very much for such a beautiful board. Uh, it, it really is uh, really well integrated points. I actually like the rounded edges on the points. That's really cool. Uh, the checkers are beautiful. I don't know where they come from, but uh, they're really gorgeous. And this is gonna be the kind of workhorse board that um, I think will just stand up to repeated and regular use. Uh, so whereas I was a little wary about using the gamut or much, uh, this is going to be a board that I'm sure I'm going to play on a lot. So I'm going to do a couple of measurements and uh, we'll see how big the playing field and the checkers are. 
So I did some measurements on this. Uh, this is a very large board. Um, it's 23 inches long in terms of the playing field. The checkers are 44 and a half millimeters wide and they are nine millimeters thick. And the entire playing surface from tip to tip is 32 inches. Uh, so this is a definitely a larger size tournament board uh, and just really beautiful and I can't wait to continue playing on it. So Basil, Hanim, thank you very much and good luck to you as you continue making beautiful boards that will be used around the world. Bye.